Hey what's up guys, my name is Rahul, you're watching TechScene and these are my initial thoughts and impressions of the brand new Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Let's get started. So there are two phones this year, the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge which I have right here. And this unit is sponsored by our friends at Technovision. So do check them out if you want to pre-order an S7 Edge for yourself. Links in the description for full details. So looking at the S7 Edge straight up and you will not see any difference from the last year's model as they are similar but hold it in the hand and it easily becomes the best phone that you have ever held. Samsung took what was already an awesome smartphone and made it better this time around. So let's get the specs out of the way first. This is the Exynos 8890 version which is the international version and there's also a Snapdragon 820 version as well. It's got a beautiful 5.5 inch Super AMOLED Quad HD display with 534 pixels per inch. It's got a 12 megapixel primary camera with dual pixel technology with an aperture of f1.7 which is mind blowing and it has super fast autofocus as well along with the front facing wide angle camera which is of 5 megapixel. They bumped up the RAM to 4 gigs and also let's appreciate the fact that they made this phone slightly thicker than the last year's model to accommodate more battery which is 3600 mAh in this case but it doesn't feel thick at all. Both the S7 and the S7 Edge are IP68 certified so they are dust and water resistant up to 30 minutes in 1.5 meters of depth so don't hesitate to take it for a swim along with you. Micro SD card support returns and it can be expanded up to 200 gigs. It comes in 4 colors, black onyx, gold platinum, silver titanium and white pearl. Now speaking of the design of this phone, it's slightly better than the last year. They made the glass slightly curved on the back like the Note 5 so ergonomically it fits very well in your palm. The camera bump on the back is also slightly reduced than the last year so the phone won't wobble much when you place it on the table and also the home button is more flat and less rounded than the predecessor and it also accommodates the fingerprint scanner which is faster than the last year's model so it's a much more refined version of the S6 Edge from last year. On the bottom of the phone you will find a 3.5mm headphone jack, micro USB port, the mic and the speakers. Up top there's the secondary noise cancellation mic and a tray which houses the SIM card and the SD card and the volume rockers and power buttons which are thinner than its predecessor on the sides. The screen of this phone is brilliant. The edge functionality last time was a gimmick but this time around the edges bring more functionality with apps edge, tasks edge, people edge and yahoo news articles as well. The display also has an always on mode which basically lights the LEDs of a particular area of the display like as if the phone is in standby. You can add a calendar or use an image as well. Now the phone runs on a skinned version of Marshmallow which is still a toned down version of TouchWiz. So anyone who's used a Samsung phone before will feel right at home. And this time around I'm actually liking this UI as it's pretty smooth and in my initial impressions it's not affecting the performance of this phone. So the new edge features and the always on display are a very good addition to this software. One thing I want to show you guys is this phone beside the iPhone 6 plus. Both are having a 5.5 inch display but the S7 edge comes in a really compact package which I totally love. The fact that Samsung is sticking to their design language is also really good because if it's not broken you don't have to fix it. Now by no means am I saying that this phone is perfect, it's still slippery and is a fingerprint magnet and no USB type C and it also lacks the IR blaster from the last year but that's nothing major. So the full review is gonna take some time, when I get hands on a proper retail package I will have to test the camera, battery life, gaming performance and the software thoroughly. So get subscribed if you haven't already and get coverage of awesome tech like this in the future. Don't forget to check out our friends at Technovision. If you missed out my previous video, the cards will pop up right about now and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.